Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Prep Files. So this is three weeks out from the competition leading up to two weeks and as of Sunday we will be two weeks out which is so exciting. So hope that you enjoy this week's journey and I will see you all next week. Hi everybody, so today I drove over to Bradford to go and see Emma Hyman, the posing pro, and she was doing a bit of a posing seminar, which was really good, and um, Mofo, who is the mobility coach, he was there and taught us some tips about what the best mobility to do is for posing, how to stretch out your back and your lower back, and your thoracic spine and all those different parts which was really insightful and also trained at strength pro i got to meet compact the um shoe and jewelry lady um also got to meet some amazing bodybuilders and yeah just had an all-round really good time feeling really positive about that and i'm um, ready to smash this week well, I was at the seminar today. I bought these beautiful earrings from Compact and super excited to wear them on my show day. While I'm on my walk, I just thought I would talk to you guys about some of the things that, you know, some of the unpretty things about prep. And although it's really nice to look lean and be stage ready, there's a lot of things that aren't spoken about. For example, your digestive system is all over the show. Some days it literally feels like I'm going to shit myself um, and that's just not pleasant at all. I am absolutely exhausted, so have no energy to do anything. Um, being around me is not fun at all. I am like a soul sucker at the moment and suck the soul out of <laughs> basically every situation because I'm just tired all the time and constantly thinking about prep and you know just not my usual sprightly self so you know it's not all sunshines and roses and sparkly outfits and I think it's really important for people to know this because it's important for people to know that it's not easy and I think when you're deciding to do bodybuilding you have to really look at whether you actually want to do prep or you just want to be fit because it's two very different Another things. super annoying thing about being on prep is literally nothing fits me. Like these jeans were tight on me before I started prep and now they're far too big. I look like I've got no bum and I don't want to buy new clothes because I'm not going to stay this way for very long, so it's rather annoying. I have to wear belts all the time and everything just looks baggy and gross. But, never mind. Not long. I've woke up this morning and we are now 18 days out. I had a midweek check-in this morning with John. I feel absolutely exhausted today. I did a big leg session last night and my legs are killing me. And I just feel super tired. It's all good. We are so close now. So I'm just going to have some black coffee, smash through the day and then hopefully... Um, I'll feel a bit better later on. I have trialled my makeup again today. Tried a little bit of a different eye, which I think I'm going to go with. And also tried some things with my hair. Um, I've decided I'm leaving my hair curly. I am getting it cut before the show. Um, and I'm just going to add some extra curls in and just put it away from my face on the day so that um, you can see my face. But yeah, we are two and a half weeks out now and it's feeling extremely real. Um, so super excited and can't wait for everything to come together. I've booked in my brows and my lashes and my nails and my toes. So I will feel completely womanised by the time I get on stage. I can't believe we've made it to Friday already. This week seems to have just flown by. I am absolutely exhausted this week even just driving to the gym 
I'm so tired. It's my non-training day today, so um, I'm just coming in and doing my cardio, and then I've got my steps to do later on. And I'm going into the office today, but I am honestly so tired. We've got two weeks and three more days left to push through. Feeling very glad that the end is in sight because I am running on empty and um, my recovery is just dreadful at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can smash through the next few days and check-ins tomorrow morning. Next week is the last push before car so today i am doing something a little bit different for those people who don't know me and for those people who don't know me that well i hate my nose and i'm planning to get a nose job and i was planning to get it this year but obviously circumstances changed i bought a house so one of my best friends molly is a um amazing aesthetics nurse and she's going to sort my nose out for me so this is the before it's got a huge lump in it super noticeable and i absolutely hate it so i'm hoping that she can work some magic and fix it for me to get it done my nose has been done and i am absolutely in love with it i know that to some people my before nose was absolutely fine but to me it's literally the only thing that i can look at when I get pictures taken. My side profile was so wonky um, and now it's straight and when Molly showed me my nose, I actually cried. It was really important to me to get my nose done. I wanted to get them done before my bodybuilding show so that when I look back, my pictures aren't the only thing I can see is my nose. So I'm really happy and yeah, it makes me wanna cry thinking about the fact that I've actually got a side profile that I don't actually despise. I had an absolute nightmare of a morning yesterday. Everything was just not going my way. I woke up late when I got to the gym. The two cardio machines I usually use were being used. So I had to use the treadmill and then I got to work and dropped all of my food on the floor which meant I was without half my chicken, half my mint and rice for the day, which was dreadful. And I'm really thankful that my work colleagues are super supportive and helpful and boosted me back up and helped me just have some black coffee, have a little pep talk and get on with my day. So shout out to all of you guys for supporting me through this mental journey. It really means a lot that you are um, helping me get through some of my tough days when they are super difficult. So thanks very much. This week started off really good and I felt fantastic. And then kind of by probably Wednesday, the exhaustion hit me like a brick wall. I just felt absolutely exhausted. Thursday, Friday, Saturday were the most difficult days exhaustion wise I was so tired and everything was you know just really difficult um I had my check-in yesterday morning and there was kind of no change in my weight but everything is looking really tight my legs have come through really well so I'm really happy with that and John's made some tweaks to this week so we've got some extra cardio and my rice has been removed from my meal too so this week's gonna be really tough. This whole prep has made me be completely selfish. I am the most selfless person normally and constantly look after everybody else. I'm always making sure everybody's okay. And I have been like that my whole life. And during this prep, I have really had to just be completely selfish. And it's not me, it's not who I am. I haven't got time for people. When I am with people, I'm quite short with them, especially if I'm tired. And I appreciate that's quite difficult for my friends and family. And it does make me feel bad, specifically um, struggling with the way that I am at the moment. Just I'm just being very short with people. Um, I don't really have time for anybody. And I know that it's not forever. It's for a really short period of time, but it has made me really enjoy my own company a lot. I loved my own company anyway, but um, I really enjoy by, being by myself. And these last kind of 10 days before we do carb up are going to be really difficult. And I've kind of just decided that I'm going to shut myself away, get through the next week and just really concentrate on 
bringing my absolute everything to that stage and really showing what I'm made of. Just want to say thank you so much to my friends and family who are around me and supporting me as much as possible, even though I am quite difficult to be around. And when I am around people, I'm not like my normal joyous self. Um, the past week has been extremely hard on my body. Everything hurts. I just feel exhausted. I'm loving the process, but I am really, really tired this week. So I'm just going to knuckle down, get through this next week. And hopefully by this time next week, we'll be heading to some lower cardio and then it will be peak week. So we will be ready to carb up. So that is three weeks out and as of today we are officially two weeks to go this time in two weeks it will be all over i will be mahogany i will have been on stage i would have had a blast hopefully and i will be able to report back how it was and whether we're planning to do it again in the future so thank you so much and i will see you all next week <laughs> Thank you.